Intralock's Flat One abutment system is designed for full mouth rehabilitation cases or clinical situations that require cross arch splinting. It eliminates the need for parallelism and is ideal for bar cases and screw retained bridges. Flat One abutments are characterized by having a flat occlusal table. The flat surface mates precisely with Flat One casting cylinders. This ensures that the load of the restoration is supported by a wide, flat platform in contrast to conventional two-piece abutments that rely on a retaining screw for support. This presentation illustrates the flat one abutment system used in a mandibular full arch reconstruction. In addition to routine examination protocols, a diagnostic wax-up, a scanogram, scanographic guide, surgical stent, and a template for the final restorations are generated. A screw-retained metal framework is the foundation for the final restoration. The functional and cosmetic components consist of composite teeth and any additions that are necessary to compensate for soft tissue defects. Upon placement, the prosthesis is immediately loaded. In this instance, the remaining teeth are either clinically compromised or will be removed for the strategic purpose of obtaining cross-arch stabilization. After the teeth have been extracted, the customized surgical stent is placed and a 1.5 mm pilot drill is used for the initial penetration. Upon completion of the use of the pilot drill, the osteotomy site is enlarged with the use of a 2.5 mm drill. Progressively larger diameter drills are then used in sequence. The intralock drilling guide will indicate the sequence of drills that are to be used at each location. Each drill is color-coded and has laser-etched depth marks located at 8, 10, 11 and a half, 13, and 15 millimeters. The final drill concludes the preparation of each site. The case is now ready for the implants. They can be fully seated through the use of a motorized attachment limited to a maximum torque value of 40 newton centimeters. If additional torque is required, a surgical ratchet wrench or a torque lock wrench can be used. Please note that Intralock's patented drive lock attachment enables the removal from the package through delivery and placement of the implants in one uninterrupted motion. This driver is also used to place the cover and laboratory screws. Upon placement of the implants, the appropriate flat one abutments are secured. These abutments are available in two platforms, a 3.5 mm narrow platform and a 5 mm wide platform. In addition, they are available in three different heights, ranging from 1 to 3 mm, thus enabling the ideal placement of each abutment and optimum margination of the final restorations. The abutments are seated to a torque value of 35 newton centimeters. The case is now finalized and ready for the working impression. Flat one abutment impression copings are selected and secured by long impression screws. Notice the different impression copings matching each platform, 3.5 or 5 millimeters in diameter. An open tray final impression is then taken. Flat one cover screws are subsequently placed and provisionalization concludes this phase of treatment. The laboratory phase begins by placing the abutment analogs and securing them with long impression screws. Stone is then poured. The master model has now been generated. And flat one brass cylinders are positioned onto the flat one abutments analogs. As you can see, there are two diameters of brass cylinders, each matching the flat abutment diameters. One standard, which is five millimeters in diameter, and one narrow, which is 3.5 millimeters in diameter. 
plastic cylinders are positioned onto the brass cylinders and are secured by flat abutment retaining screws. The flat one plastic cylinders are then shortened to their correct heights. The wax up is then started and is formed to define the framework of the prosthesis. In order to cast, the entire suprastructure is unfastened and carefully removed. It is then invested and cast in non-precious chrome cobalt alloy. This is the cast structure after it has been polished. We are now ready to cement the flat one titanium cylinders onto the cast framework. The titanium cylinders are cemented with a composite resin cement, such as Sika site from Sika or Ultrabond by Culzer. Note that the titanium cylinder is slightly smaller than the brass cylinder. This creates a space for the composite resin cement. Each cylinder is painted with resin cement and inserted into the framework. Once completed, the assembly is then securely fastened back onto the master model using the same lab flat one abutment retaining screws and the composite resin cement is allowed to set. The teeth are veneered and any cosmetic soft tissue additions are completed. The prosthesis is then finalized and is now ready for delivery. At the moment of delivery at chairside, the screws that have been used at the lab are discarded and clinical screws featuring a special surface treatment for anti-galling are used. The completely passive simultaneous fit of the bridge is confirmed and the clinical retaining screws are secured with 20 newton centimeters of torque. A pellet of cotton is then placed over each screw. This is followed by composite resin which is polished upon setting. The occlusion and aesthetics are then finalized and the case is completed. Flat one abutments are offered for all intralock internal implant prosthetic interfaces, SQ, standard, and wide. The SQ implant interface flat one abutment is available in a 3.5 millimeter narrow platform. The standard and wide implant interfaces have abutment selections with 3.5 millimeter narrow platforms and 5 millimeter regular platforms. Please refer to the product catalog for full details. All flat one abutments range from one to three millimeters in height, thus enabling the most favorable margination of the final restorations. For further information on the Intralock flat one abutment system, please visit intralock.com.